I just monitored a brand new Windows 11 laptop with Wireshark. Before I even opened a browser or typed anything, it had already contacted advertising networks, market research companies, and dozens of third-party servers. Here's what I found. Now, for those who don't know, Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer. Think of it as a microscope for your internet traffic. It shows you every single packet of data going in and out of your computer, where it's going, who it's talking to, and what it's saying. I set up Wireshark to specifically monitor DNS traffic. That's the system that translates website names into IP addresses. Basically, anytime your computer wants to talk to a server, it has to look up that server's address first, and Wireshark catches all of those lookups. I booted up the laptop. I didn't open a browser, type anything, or click on anything. I just turned it on. And immediately, I mean immediately, Windows 11 started talking. This brand new Windows 11 PC, which was never used to browse the internet, contacted not only Windows Update, MSN, and Bing servers, but also Steam, gaming platform, McAfee, antivirus. Let me repeat that. Before I did anything, my computer was already talking to Microsoft servers, okay, expect it. But also advertising networks, market research companies, software distribution platforms, geolocation services. Windows 11 connected to many third-party servers and services as soon as it was installed without asking for the customer's permission. Most of these connections were for ad tracking. Now here's where it gets really interesting. The PC security channel, the researchers who originally did this experiment, also ran the same test on Windows XP. You know that 22-year-old operating system from 2001? The only things that the 20-plus-year-old operating system contacted were Windows Update and Microsoft Update servers. Windows XP 2001, contacts, two servers, Windows Update only, purpose, OS updates, third-party connections, zero. Windows 11 2025, Contacts, dozens of servers. Purpose, updates, ads, tracking, analytics. Third-party connections. Multiple advertising slash research companies. Even before you connect to the internet, open an app or do anything, Windows 11 is piping data here and there to both Microsoft and third-party servers. Now, here's the thing. Microsoft encrypts this data using TLS 1.2 encryption. So I can't see the exact contents of what's being sent, but Wireshark can show me dash who your computer is talking to, when the connections happen, how often data is being sent, how much data is in each packet. So what does this all mean? Let's connect the dots. We can't see the exact contents of the data packets because of encryption, but we don't need to. The destination addresses alone tell a damning story. Think of it like this. If you saw your neighbor constantly mailing envelopes to your local government, a market research firm, and several advertising agencies, you wouldn't know the exact words inside those letters. But you'd have a very, very good idea of what was going on. The chilling conclusion. Your Windows 11 machine is not a loyal appliance that waits for your commands. From the moment it boots, it acts as a data gathering terminal for Microsoft and its partners. The shift from Windows XP to Windows 11 isn't just about better graphics and more features. It's a fundamental shift in philosophy. Windows XP's philosophy. You own this computer, it works for you. It only phones home for critical updates to keep it running securely. Windows 11's philosophy. You are a user on Microsoft's ecosystem. The device is a conduit for data. Its purpose is to serve you, but also to serve Microsoft's advertising, analytics, and service integration business model. This isn't just about telemetry or diagnostic data anymore. This is about pre-established relationships with ad networks like scorecard research and market research firms like Comscore before you've even expressed a single preference. But I have nothing to hide. This is the most common response. 
But this isn't about hiding, it's about choice and consent. Did you consent to your brand new device communicating with McAfee or Steam? Did you agree to have your device's geolocation pinged by geo.prod.do before you even opened a map? This all happens silently in the background, using your bandwidth and your system resources without transparent, explicit permission. So what can you do about it? You're not powerless. Here are three levels of action you can take. Level one, the basic privacy. Set it to required diagnostic data only. Turn off tailored experiences. Turn off all four options in that main menu. These are advertising IDs and tracking traits. During setup or after, decline all optional data sharing prompts. Be a no man. Level two, the enthusiast lockdown. Use open source tools like O and O Shut Up, 10 or WPD Windows Privacy Dashboard. These programs give you a simple interface to disable dozens of Windows telemetry and tracking features that are buried deep in the OS. Configure your firewall. Use the built-in Windows Defender firewall or a third-party one to block outbound connections for specific apps you don't trust. Level 3, the nuclear option. If this level of baked-in data harvesting is unacceptable to you, consider switching to a privacy-focused Linux distribution. Modern versions like Linux Mint or Ubuntu are incredibly user-friendly and look and feel similar to Windows, but they don't have this inherent data collection business model. For many people, it's a viable and empowering alternative. The bottom line. The digital world of 2025 is not the world of 2001. Your operating system is no longer just an operating system. It's a platform with its own interests. The conversation has moved from, is my antivirus updated? To, who does my computer work for when I'm not using it? The evidence is right there in the packets. The question is, what are you going to do about it? What do you think? Are you surprised by these findings? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what other tech mysteries you'd like me to investigate with Wireshark. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unfiltered looks at what your tech is really doing.